गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल दिस सेशन इज अबाउट फेमस पर्सनैलिटीज ऑफ द इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड राइट इट्स सीरीज ऑफ सेशन इन सिक्स टू सेवन सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू कवर अराउंड फाइव हंड्रेड पर्सनैलिटीज ऑफ इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड दैट वुड बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इन क्रैकिंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम because a uh, number of questions are being asked in competitive exam regarding the personalities their work their birth their death uh, for more videos you may uh, subscribe to my website www.dineshmiglani.com my facebook page dinesh miglani tutorials for talking to me or any query uh, you may uh, contact me at my number 0921551435 my email id legalbuddy@gmail.com Uh, for regular updates on my videos because i upload my videos on the youtube at my channel dinesh miglani tutorials you may subscribe my channel dinesh miglani tutorials i expect from you to share my videos with your friends as well as on your facebook wall so that they will also be benefited by this let us start with the session the first personality that we are talking about that is uh, abdul ghaffar khan right that is abdul ghaffar khan right uh, he was born in 1890 and died in 1988 he is also known as frontier gandhi right that person is named as frontier gandhi because he organized the people of the north west frontier province north west frontier province of the undivided india right on gandhian principle basically he was a mohammedan right when we talk about the north western area the north western area of the india is somewhere the area which is now in pakistan so what he has done he organized all the people of north west frontier area of undivided india right that's why he was named as frontier gandhi okay he is also named as the badshah khan he was a very strong congressman who called himself as a soldier of the freedom struggle uh, his admirers called him badshah khan right he was also known as uh, badshah khan he got bharat ratna award in the year of 1987 he got bharat ratna award in the year of 1980 Seven, right? So that is about uh, Khan Abdul Ghaffar, right? Born in 1890, 1988, and he was died in 1988, right? Frontier Gandhi, uh, Bacha Khan, right? As well as why he was called Frontier Gandhi, you know the reason about it. He also got Bharat Ratna in 1987. The second one is Abdul Rahman Tunku. Abdul Rahman Tunku was born in 1903 and died in 1973. uh he was a malaysian statesman basically he belongs to the country malaysia he was a malaysian statesman right and he was the first prime minister man he was the first prime minister of malaysia who negotiated with the british for the independence of malaysia right means uh, as we know that uh, pandit jawaharlal nehru and mahatma gandhi right the same work was done by abdul rahman tunku in malaysia right he was the first uh, prime minister of malaysia he made negotiations with the uh, british for independence of malaysia right and after that he became first prime minister of malaysia okay that is abdul rahman tunku next is abraham lincoln everyone knows about it abraham lincoln right he was born in 1809 and died in 1865 he was the 16th president of the usa who succeeded in abolishing slavery he was famous why because he abolished slavery uh, earlier before uh, the slavery was a stigma on the usa he abolished slavery he was reelected president in 1864 right he was president twice he was uh, uh, he was reelected president in 1864 right but he was killed right he was assassinated by john wikes booth in 1865 is the name of the person who killed him right he was assassinated by this person john wikes booth right so when we talk about abraham lincoln uh Uh, 1809 he was born 16th president of the usa right he abolished slavery that's why he is known and he is also known that uh, for the whole life he uh, he started number of ventures number of elections he fought but in generally most of the elections he was never won right but finally he won the election of the president of the usa okay and he was died in 1865 and the killer of him was john wikes booth right Uh, he was assassinated by this person okay so that is about abraham lincoln next we have abu bakr when we talk about this personality abu bakr he is a leading general of prophet muhammad he was a leading general of prophet muhammad right uh, was the first khalifa of muslim empire and ruled from 632 ad right 
uh, why he was the famous he was the first khalifa first caliph uh, in, in english we call it as a caliph but in hindi we call it as khalifa he was the first caliph of the uh, muslim empire right he started to rule in the year of 632 ad he started to rule in the year of 632 ad right he made islam a political and military force in arabia right he was uh, the person after the muhammad who uh, made islam as a political and military force in arabia that's why abu bakr uh, is a he was the first khalifa of uh, muhammadan empire he was born in uh, 573 to 634 in 632 uh, he was uh, become uh, he ruled from 632 right that is about abu bakr next one is abul fazl Abdul Fazl, or we can call him as Abul Fazl. The name is Abul Fazl here, right? He was in the year of 1561 to 1602, the author of Ainari Akbari. He was the author of Ain Akbari as well as Akbar Nama. So these questions are asked in your examination generally. Who is the author of Ain Akbari and Akbar Nama? So we can say that Abul Fazl was the author of Ainari Ain Akbari and Akbar Nama, right? He was the celebrated Mughal poet and prime minister during the Akbar reign. Basically, he was at the time of the Akbar. Basically, he was at the time of the Akbar, right? Uh, Abul Fazl. He was the author of the two very famous books, Aine Akbari and Akbar Nama. Next one is Adolf Hitler. Everyone knows Adolf Hitler. Uh, Adolf uh, is Adolf Hitler, right? He was born in 1889 and died in 1945, right? Uh, he was Austria-born German dictator. Basically, he belongs to the country Germany. right and he was born in austria he was born in austria he was dictator in germany who influenced the course of history in 20th century well he influenced the whole course of history in 20th century because he was the main person who led into the world war 2 right he served the german army in world war 1 he later founded the nazi party he was the founder of the uh, nazi party and he became chancellor in the year of 1933 he became the chancellor of germany in the year of 1933 right so he was the uh, founding member of nazi party right he pushed the countries into the world war 2 right he was the person who is responsible of pushing the germany in world war 2 right uh, in which 5 million people lost their lives in 1939 uh, his troops invaded poland and causing the outbreak of world war 2 basically uh, the world war 2 was initiated by adolf adolf hitler when germany invaded in when germany invaded in poland right after invasion of germany in poland world war 2 was started right uh, he married his mistress eva eva brun in april 1945 right is the is the name of uh, his wife eva brun in april 1945 and next day they are said to be have committed so uh, they have uh, they are said to be have committed suicide right so uh, he committed suicide finally because he had come to know that now his army has defeated everywhere right and he would be uh, being captured by the uh, britishers and the usa right so that's why he killed himself right uh, he uh, the name of the book that he has uh, written will be called it as a biography of him that is mean camp right so that is about adolf hitler 1889 to 1940 Five right. जब Adolf Hitler की बात करें तो he belongs to the Austria. He was born in Austria. और German army में उसने serve किया था पहले World War के अंदर. He founded the Nazi party right and Germany का chancellor बना 1933 के अंदर. He pushed the whole Germany into the World War II uh, when they invaded in Poland right. Uh, he married to Eva Braun in April 1944 right and on the next day they both committed suicide. The name of the book is written that is Mein Kampf. so right he is a greek author of aesop fables right a moral tales with animal protagonist right when we talk about the aesop fables basically fables are the small stories right the basically and the aesop small stories the deals with uh, moral tales with animal basically his uh, his tales uh, deals with the moral tales in which he his characters were animals right we all know that about the tale of tortoise and the hare everyone as a child uh, that story is being uh, told to him the tortoise and the hare so that story was uh, written by uh, aesop right 
and uh, he was in the 600 BC, right? So his fables are known as Aesop fables. Next one is Alauddin Khilji. When we talk about this person, Alauddin Khilji, he ruled North India between 1219-6 to 1316, right? He was the Sultan of Delhi from 1219-6 to 1316. He was the strongest ruler of the Khilji dynasty. And during his reign, Muslim progressed towards the Narmada river in the Dakkan, right? Means in his reign, the Muslim have uh, just started from North India to South India. They went to the Dakkan area. So that was the major achievement of Alauddin Khilji, right? So he was the Sultan of King between 1219 to 1316. Albert Einstein, everyone knows about him, Albert Einstein, right? He is a very famous scientist of 20th century, right? He was born in 1879 in Ulama. He belongs to Germany, right? When we talk about uh, Alban uh, Einstein, he belongs to uh, Germany, right? And he's completed his education in Switzerland. He made the revolutionary discovery of theory of relativity in 1905, right? At a, at a, a small age of 26 years, he made the theory of uh, relativity, uh, uh, he made the he discovered the theory of uh, uh, relativity in 1905, right? Uh, uh, because of that, he got the Nobel Prize, right? In 1921, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for physics, right? He died in the USA in 1955. He died in USA in 18th April 1955, right? So that is somewhere about uh, Albert Einstein, born in 1879 and died in 1955, right? Belongs to Germany. Uh, he discovered theory of relativity in 1905 and got Nobel Prize for that in the stream of physics in 1921, right? Number of inventions are there which are made by Albert Einstein, right? He's the most famous scientist of 20th century. Next one is al -Biruni, right? When we talk about the al -Biruni, he is a famous Arab historian, right? He belongs to Arab, he is a famous Arab historian who visited India along with the army of Mahmud of Ghazni. We know that Mahmud of Ghazni, right, in the timing of 1997 to 1030, he plundered India for a number of times, right? Uh, about the Mahmud Ghazni, he uh, came to India with the armies of Mahmud of Ghazni and he wrote about India, right? And uh, uh, in the writings of Al Biruni, a uh, number of historical points have been taken by historians, right? So that is about Al Biruni. He was at the time of Mahmud of Ghazni. Sometime in uh, examinations, these type of questions are asked. Al Biruni is in which period, right? And options are given as Akbar, uh, Babur, or Mahmud of Ghazni, right? Or Prithviraj Chauhan. So we can say that he was in the period of period of Mahmud of Ghazni. So that's why all these points are very important for you when you are going to prepare for SSC or any other competitive exam for GK. Next we have Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming is a very famous uh, scientist, right? And was a discovery has somewhere given life to the medicines, right? Uh, he is a Scottish scientist. He basically, he is a Scottish, basically he is a uh, Scottish Bacteriologist. Basically, he was a bacteriologist. B A C T E R I O L uh, bacteriologist. Right. Uh, uh, when we talk about this bacteriologist, they primarily work on bacteria. Right. He discovered penicillin in the year of 1928. Right. The, it was an antibiotic. Basically, penicillin is antibiotic. Right. He discovered this antibiotic in the year of 1928. Uh, he, however, could not isolate it, but it was later by Florian Chain. Primarily, he discovered uh, penicillin in 1928, but at that time, he is not in a position to isolate it, right? And that isolation is done by uh, Florian Chain. Two, uh, two scientists are there. One is the Flory and the second one is Chain. These two uh, scientists have uh, isolated that penicillin with that material, right? After that, a uh, number of antibiotic drugs started to be made, right? Because of that, he shared the Nobel Prize of 1945 in medicine with these scientists, right? So that's why Alexander Fleming will always be, will always be remembered. And he died in the year of 1995, right? So what we can say that uh, when we talk about this uh, scientist Alexander Fleming, right? 
He was the uh, discoverer of penicillin in 1928, a Scottish bacteriologist. Although it was the antibiotic family discovered by Alexander Fleming, right? But uh, he is not in a position to isolate that. That is made by Florian Chen, got double prize in 1945. Next one is Alexander Graham Bell, right? Everyone knows that inven inventor of telephone. Inventor of telephone is Alexander Graham Bell, right? He is a Scottish American scientist who invented telephone in 1876. And we know that invention of the telephone is a very uh, great, impactful uh, discovery in the human life, right? Uh, that was uh, discovered by Alexander Graham Bell, right, in 1876. Next one is Alfred Adler. The next one is Alfred Adler, right? Uh, when we talk about this Alfred Adler, he is a psychologist from uh, Vienna, created with uh, the concept of inferiority complex. This term is basically known to everyone, inferiority complex, right? When you don't find yourself uh, capable in comparison to the current your company, right? When you stay in a company and there you find that you are not enough good as compared to the other person, there because of your, uh, your lack of capabilities make you feel inferior. So that is basically named as inferior complex, right? So that uh, concept of the inferior complex was uh, basically given by Alfred Adler, right? He was a psychologist. Basically, Alfred Adler was a psychologist, right? Next is uh, Alighieri Dante in 1265 to uh, 1321, right? He was a famous Italian poet, author of Divine Commedia. It's a philosophical poem, right? He was ba he was basically Italian poet. Basically, uh, that person is a Italian poet, right? His uh, poem is known as Divine Commedia, right? It's a very famous poem that is Divine Commedia. It's a philosophical poem telling the story of an imaginary journey through the hell. That poem talks about the imaginary journey. That poem talks about imaginary journey through the hell. That is Divine Commedia. Right? By uh, Alighieri Dante. Right? Uh, he also wrote love poems which were collected under the La Vita Nubia. Uh, that's a collection of the love poems. Basically, sometimes the questions are asked uh, on that uh, particular collection. La Vita Nova was uh, written by, so we know that Alighieri Dante, right, as well as Divine Comedia. He was the author of that. That Divine Comedia is a imaginary uh, journey through hell, and La Vita Nova is basically collection of uh, love poems in it Italian. Next one is Andre Mary Ampere. We know about Ampere, right? Uh, Andre Mary Ampere, right? Uh, he is a French. Uh, he he uh, is basically a French physicist, right? And the unit of electric current is uh, given in, in its name, right? So we know that uh, what is the unit of electric current that is ampere. That's basically ampere, right? So he is he is uh, primarily associated with electric current, right? That is Andre Marie Ampere. He belongs to France. C. F. Andrews. Right, C. F. Andrews in 1871 to 1940. He was died in 1940. Right, uh, he, he's a uh, he's basically a British missionary and close to the Mahatma Gandhi, who came to India in 1904 and devoted himself to India freedom struggle. Right, he was basically a British missionary. Right, he came to India in the year of 1904. He was in contact with Mahatma Gandhi and because of the influence of Mahatma Gandhi, he devoted himself. For the welfare of the country, he is also named as Dina Bandhu. That was the nickname of uh, C. F. Andrews, uh, Dina Bandhu in Indian history, right? So DN, uh, that is uh, Dina Bandhu is name of the C. F. Andrews. He was a British missionary, right? He devoted himself to Indian freedom struggle. Angdorji, right? Uh, it's a Nepali Sherpa who climbed Mount Everest in 1984 with Bachendri Pal. Right, Ang Dorji, he climbed uh, Mountain uh, Everest. He climbed Mount Everest. 
in 1984 with Bachendri Pal, and you know about the Bachendri Pal. Bachendri Pal is the first Indian woman. Uh, Bachendri Pal, Bachendri Pal is the first Indian woman who climbed the Mount Everest. Right? He has the distinction of having climbed Mount Everest twice without the use of oxygen. Right? Why he is famous? Because uh, that uh, Ang Dorji has climbed the Mount Everest twice, two times without oxygen. Two times without oxygen. Right. So here, what we know that uh, Bachendri Pal is the first Indian woman. Right. Yeah, yeah, she is the first Indian woman. Right. Who uh, climbed Mount Everest, and he was uh, uh, associated by Ang Dorji. He accompanied her. Right. Next one is Yasser Arafat. Everyone knows about Yasser Arafat. Right. He was the chairman of PLO Palestine Liberation Organization. He was the chairman of PLO Palestine Liberation Organization. He was in the year of 1929. He was born and died in the year of 2004. Right. And he was the chairman of this uh, PLO from 1969 to 2004 for a very long period. 1969 to 2004, he was the chairman of this Palestine Liberal Organization. Right. He was the president of the Palestine from 1993 to 2004. Right. He was the president of Palestine. From 1993 to 2004, and he also got the Nobel Prize in the year of 1994, along with uh, Shimon Press and Isaac Rabin for the successful negotiations of 1993 Oslo Accord. Basically, he got Nobel Prize in 1994. Why he got the Nobel Prize? Because of the Oslo Accord. Right. So that uh, uh, prize was shared by the uh, three persons. And Yasser Arafat was uh, one of them, right? So why Yasser Arafat is known to us? Uh, because of his connections with the Palestine. He was the chairman of Palestine Liberal Organization as well as uh, he was the president of the Palestine from 1993 to 2004. For 11 years, he was the president of the Palestine as well as he got Nobel Prize in the year of 1994, right? For his, uh, for his work for... Uh, negotiations on Oslo. The next famous personality is Archimedes, right? You know about Archimedes principle. Everyone have studied this principle in the school time. So he was somewhere in the year of 287 to 212 BC, right? A very uh, long ago. Okay. Uh, what he has done, he was basically a Greek scientist. When we talk about this Archimedes, he was basically a Greek scientist. Right. That Archimedes was basically a a uh, Greek scientist and mathematician known for the discovery of unique principle of buoyancy. That is basically law of floating, right? Why anything floats on the water, right? The basic principle that you know that when, where the weight of equal volume of an object is less than the weight of the water, so that will float, right? So that principle has been given by Archimedes principle of uh, buoyancy or which is also named as law of floating, right? He also discovered and analyzed the principle of the lever and invented the Archimedes screw to raise water, right? The number of other uh, things are associated with him. He was also uh, known for discovering the principle of lever, right? Which is uh, the basic object at every place that is being used, right? and also known as Archimedes screw to raise water. He is also known for his Archimedes screw to raise water. Right. So all these are the uh, inventions are associated with Archimedes. Uh, prime invention is law of floating. That principle has been given by Archimedes. Next one is Aristotle. In the year of 384 to 322 BC, Aristotle, Aristotle, right. He was a Greek philosopher. Basically, he belongs to uh, Greece. He was a uh, Greek philosopher, right? And teacher of the prince of Alexander of Macedon, right? He was a basically teacher of Alexander of Macedon, right? So uh, that is basically Aristotle. Next one is Arthur Holy Compton. Arthur Holy uh, Compton. He was an American scientist, right? Uh, who was uh, who was remembered for his noted research in X-rays? He got Nobel Prize in the year of uh, 1927, right? Arthur Holy Compton. So he was famous. Why? Because he has made so much research on X-ray, and we know that in present 
एक्सरे आर असेंशियल पार्ट इन मेडिसिन राइट विदाउट एक्सरे इन हॉस्पिटल नो वर्क कैन बी डन बिकॉज एक्सरे हेल्प टू स्कैन द बॉडी दे टेल्स एस वट इज हैपनिंग इन साइड द बॉडी स्पेशली फॉर ऑर्थोपेडिक्स राइट तो ही गोट द नोबल प्राइज इन दर ऑफ नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सेवन फॉर इज रिसर्च ऑन एक्सरे राइट नेक्स्ट वन इज अरना आसफ अली राइट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट अरना अरना आसफ अली नाइनटीन हंड्रेड नाइन टू नाइनटीन नाइनटी सिक्स राइट दट अरना आसफ अली इम्पॉर्टेंट इंडियन फ्रीडम फाइटर एंड ए डिवॉर्टेड सोशलिस्ट राइट फॉर इज रेडिकल व्यूज He got Bharat Ratna in the year of 1997. That Arna Asaf Ali got Bharat Ratna in the year of 1997. Right? Aryabhata. Aryabhata was somewhere in the period of 1476 to 520 AD. Right? He was an Indian astronomer who adorned the court of Chandragupta Vikramaditya. Basically, he was at at a time of Chandragupta Vikramaditya. Right? And he was the India's first. Uh, we we know that India's first satellite. India's First satellite is named is uh, India's first satellite is given in the name of the Aryabhata, right? So uh, uh, why the name has been given to the India's first satellite in the name of the Aryabhata because uh, uh, Aryabhata was a famous astronomer, right? In the court of Chandragupta Vikramaditya. Next is Ashoka the Great, right? Uh, when you study the history, you find the Ashoka, right? He was the grandson of Chandragupta. Ashoka was a great emperor of India. After the battle of after the battle of Kalinga, he renounced violence and he embraced Buddhism. Basically, he was named for his violence earlier, but after the battle of Kalinga, he uh, he just uh, followed the Buddhism, right? And he made so much Buddhism uh, inscriptions. So that are all named uh, that are all made by Ashoka, right? So he had made so much effort for. uh he he made uh, so much effort for spreading of the buddhism right so he was in the period of 26228 to 264 next one is a uh, clement richard atley i hope everyone has heard about his name atley right he was the prime minister of uh, britain at the time when india got independence right so what we can say that that atley has got that post right or we can say that he has got that place uh, who has made india independent or we can say he signed the india's independence order right he was basically uh, a labor prime minister right in the year of 1945 to 1951 his government granted independence to india right so he granted independence to india richard clement atley so we can say that clement richard atley in the year of uh, 1945 to 1951 he was the prime minister of england next one is aurobindo ghosh right uh, an exponent of indian nationalism right he was a basically a philosopher and a poet a uh, number of books have been written by him uh, the first one is life divine right and the second one is essay on gita right so sometimes these questions are being asked uh, who has written those books so that is life divine That is by Aurobindo Ghosh as well as essays on Gita. Next one is uh, B. R. Ambedkar, right? Doctor Bhimrao Ambedkar. That you know that he was the he is known as the father of Indian Constitution. He is known to be having the maximum degrees, right? He was known to be father of Indian Constitution, right? He is he he is also known as a well jurist. He is also known as a well uh, jurist, right? Uh, we can say that basically he is an icon. he is an icon for scheduled caste in india right and when we talk about the issue of the uh, issue of reservation so that was basically the idea of dr bhimrao ambedkar next one is charles babbage right uh, when we talk about the charles babbage he developed the first calculating machine basically he why he is known he developed the first calculating machine right which was later gave the foundation to modern computer system and you know that uh, he is also named to be the inventor of the computer also because he made the first calculating machine uh, the technology that have been used in making the first calculating machine ultimately resulted in making of the computer right so that's why charles babbage will uh, uh, will be known for the whole human life why because we know that at present our every work is somewhat dependent on the computer so he is known to be the first inventor of the computer charles babbage 
Next one is Babur. You know about the Babur, right? He was the founder of the Mughal Empire in India. Okay. Uh, he conquered the throne of Delhi after the first battle of Panipat in 1526. Right. The first battle of Panipat was in the year of 1526. Right. And after that battle, he, uh, he, 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 he founded the Mughal Empire in India. But he can rule India for only for four years and he was he, he, he and he died early. Right. So that is about Babur. Bachendri Pal. Earlier I told you that uh, she was the first woman of India. Right. And fifth in the world who scaled the Mount Everest. Right. That is about Bachendri Pal. Right. Uh, she is the first woman of India as well as the fifth woman of the world. She scaled the summit on May 23, 1984 with Ang Dorji. And then I told you, right, with the two male members, uh, first one is Lahatu Dorji and second one is Sherpa Sardar Ang Dorji, right. Two male members uh, were with her, uh, Lahatu Dorji as well as uh, Ang Dorji, right. So she was the first Indian woman to scale the Mount Everest on May 23rd, 1984. Bahadur Shah Jafar, right. He was from the period of 1807 to 62, right. He was the last ruler of Mughal dynasty. Why his name is known to us? Because in the Indian freedom struggle, in the Indian freedom struggle of 1857, he actively participated, right. He fought against the British in the first freedom uh, war of Indian independence in 1857. After his defeat, uh, the British exiled him to Rangoon. The British exiled him to Rangoon and there he died in 1862, right. He was basically the last uh, Mughal emperor, right. He was the last ruler of Mughal dynasty and we know that after 1857, the control of the whole India was taken by the British uh, parliament, right. So he was exiled to Rangoon after being captured by the Britishers. Next one is Sundar Lal Bahuguna, right. Uh, when we have the name of the Sundar Lal Bahuguna, so we know about the Chipko movement. Basically, he was a active, he was an active social activist and environmentalist, right. Uh, he played a pivotal role in Chipko movement. When we talk about this Chipko movement, that Chipko movement basically deals with the saving of trees. That deals with the saving of trees, right. Uh, the movement that is Chipko movement in Hindi, Chipkne ka matlab hota hai, kis chiz ko pakad lena. तो पेड़ों को कटने से बचाने के लिए सुंदरलाल बहुगुना ने ये नारा दिया था जहां पेड़ कट रहा हो आप पेड़ों को पकड़ लो ठीक है तो लोग आप पे तो कुलाड़ी चलाएंगे नहीं तो दैट वाज बेसिकली द चिपको मूवमेंट राइट एंड ही इज आल्सो नेम्ड फॉर एजिटेशन अगेंस्ट इरेक्शन ऑफ द टेरी डैम राइट ही इज आल्सो अगेंस्ट फॉर मेकिंग ऑफ द टेरी डैम दैट्स अबाउट सुंदरलाल बहुगुना नेक्स्ट वन इज बैरम खान राइट you, you know about the Baram Khan, he was basically the teacher of Akbar, right? And uh, after the death of Himayu, he take care of the control of the Mughal Empire, right? Under the kingship of Akbar, okay? And that uh, Baram Khan is also known as Khan i Khona. It's a nickname of Baram Khan. Khan i Khona, right? So sometimes that question is being asked, uh, uh, that you know that. He was the basically tutor of the Akbar, Baram Khan, right? But the name, nickname of the Baram Khan is Khan E. Khona. That's the nickname of Baram Khan. Next one is Jamna Lal Bajaj, right? Anyone who is associated with MBA, everyone knows about that JBIMS, Jamna Lal Bajaj Institute. He was a very uh, Jamna Lal Bajaj, right? Uh, he was an active member during the Indian freedom struggle, right? He also founded Satyagraha Ashram in Varda. He was the founder of Satyagraha Ashram in Varda. Right. He was a Gandhiji's associate and presented a village to Gandhiji who named his Sevagram. The village Sevagram was given by Jamnalal Bajaj to Gandhiji. Right. Uh, and Gandhiji named that place at Sevagram. Right. So two important things are associated with Jamnalal Bajaj, although he was a very famous industrialist at that time. Right. But he was associated with Mahatma Gandhi. Two things are associated. First one is Satyagraha Ashram and second one is Sevagram. Banbhat. Right. Uh, when we talk about the Ban Bhatt, uh, basically he was at the time of Harshvardhan. Ban Bhatt was at the time of the Harshvardhan, right. He was a noted Sanskrit scholar, Ban Bhatt, right. He wrote two very important books. First one is Kadambari and second one is Harsh Charita. So here two uh, questions are there. Who has written Harsh Charita? 
as well as Kadambri. So both have been written by Banbat, right? And he was at the time of Harsh Varna. Bankim Chand Chatterjee. Every one of us know about the Bankim Chand Chatterjee, Vande Matram, right? Because he was the he was the author of Vande Matram. That is our national song, right? Uh, Vande Matram. A national song taken from his work Anand Mat is the name of his work. It's name of the book. That is Anand Mat. So in that the song is there of the Vande Matram and our song is taken. Our national song has been taken from Vande Matram. He was a celebrated Bengali novelist. Basically, he belongs to Bengal. Basically, he belongs to Bengal. So he was a Bengali novelist, right? And he has written a novel that is Anand Mat. And in that there was a song about Vande Matram. So that uh, Vande Matram. Is taken as a national song of India about Bankim Chand Chatterjee. Next one is Surinder Nath Banerjee, a very famous name, 1848 to 1952. Right, he was the first Indian civil servant, or we can talk about he was the first Indian who cracked the Indian civil service exam. Right, earlier, uh, for being working as an officer in India, you have to crack that Indian civil services exam. So Mr. Surinder Nath Banerjee. Was the first Indian to crack the Indian Civil Services exam, right? He held the twice of Indian National Congress presidentship, right? You all know about 1885, right? He was the first president of Indian National Congress, that is Surinder Nath Banerjee, right? A O Hayum has formed that Indian National Congress. David Beckham, right? Is a famous footballer. David Beckham, right? He was the captain of English football team during 2006 World Cup, right? He was a target of advertising media because of his uh, style following and after for marrying Victoria Adams, one of the Spice Girls, right? He married to Victoria Adams. He married to Victoria Adams, right? David Beckham. So presently, when uh, when we talk about the football. The name of the David Beckham is always at the top, right? He was the captain of the English football team uh, during the World Cup in 2006. So this is end to our session, first session on famous personalities of the world. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you may send your feedback at my uh, email id legalbuddy at the rate gmail dot com or connect me on my Facebook at the rate Dinesh Miglani Tutorials. My WhatsApp number zero nine two one double five one double four three five. I expect from you to share my videos on your Facebook wall as well as with your friends so that they will also be benefited by this. Thank you very much.